Hey, what's going on? Mr. Dave here uh, down in Del Mar from my house up in the mountains, foothills of Alpine. And I am visiting a job we did last year or uh, the year before maybe. And it's so killer. It was one of the most challenging jobs I ever did uh, because of the real rocks I had to match. Strong, strong colors. But, and then design some of the things we threw in here. But crazy, crazy, crazy job. Let's walk and talk and I'll show you what we put into this thing. So, waterfall up here starts near the spa. And that was something that uh, the pipe was already there. From a previous waterfall that was just a pile of pebbles. It was just horrible, um, ugly thing. So we demoed all that out and we redid all of this. But I added a little pond here for the adults or kids. It's about three feet deep, has a drain. So you can end a bench in there, so you can kind of plop in there, hang out. There's also a little pond over here where the waterfall is all moving. All the stuff is moving. So that fills up in there, and that's about a foot, foot and a half deep. And so you can kind of plop yourself down in there if you like. I have a 35-foot slide, I think it is. And we got the desert tan slide stuff on there. Over there is a grotto and a waterfall. We'll walk over there. But all this water had to be set for level so that it overspilled everywhere in the right places. So uh, it worked out. Pay attention to the bubble on the level. So that little pond drains here and over the edge there slightly. This uh, pond right here overflows as well. If uh, you have the water a little bit higher in terms of where you move it around from, it'll actually spill out there. And if you jump in, it'll spill out there. Stream right here with the ability to walk down through it if you're in your shoes. And uh, big satellite rocks to uh, set as a margin for this beautiful deck, this bright, bright white deck they put in. And awesome sod in the background. They also have a killer giant uh, wa uh, fire pit there, which is something else. So we have all this amazing stuff, but I had to, I had to match that real rock. Very strong colors. So it took three times as long but uh, really I'm really happy with how it came out we have a bubbler rock here all these rocks so these sort of uh, operate as a bookend for the upper deck and you see the pond over there to hang out in the pond over there strong colors strong shapes the real rocks are very angular so we were working at mimicking those um, um, around. Got my satellite right here. So I'll hop down and nice bullnose brick around the pool colored. Here's our grotto which I just dig. We put in uh, stamps of shells, sort of in a mimic fossils. Made a nice waterfall there. That's a place of interest. Draws you in. You can go in there and plop down and just hang out. But the design was uh, really a challenge to fit everything in. Get the slide to travel in a way that's not going to have you clip one of these rocks or go too far into the wall. Took a lot of time in getting that dialed in nice. And um, so very happy with how this came out. I have a satellite over here. Over here in this corner. I always like to put those in sort of as a bookend. Nice pool. Mention the glass tiles to tell you where the steps are. Very cool. They made these nice steps here so you can get up to the slide. Poured, poured concrete walkway here. We have succulents to green it out. It's always nice to have green around your project. Sod, so never have to mow it. Don't have to worry about weeds. Let's go in here and see if we can get something in the grotto as far as video without dropping the camera in there. So there's one of my windows. I like to put those in the features. 
they've had a lot of pollen so there's this yellow yellow powder everywhere um, but just the coolest coolest job ever man if I almost fall in the pool there spillway those are all faux rocks they're set in there they're not coming out so you kind of got to sit around there's another porthole on the back of that grotto rock and so this was all just a challenge rubble real rocks here there's again those strong colors we're trying to mimic got it pretty close looking at the wonderful stream that comes down the gurgling stream and I haven't seen it run with all the plumbing running right so I'm just digging this <laughs> hope you are too and uh, so just would love to have one in my house <laughs> uh, slide is super super fast Got the west coat, epoxy coat first, polyurethane second after that. As a strategy, their dog ran up here when we were texture coating, so we decided to leave their contribution to the project. And uh, here we have the slide toggle switches to move the water around to where you need it to go. Um, pretty amazing. So anyways, uh, yeah, one of my faves one of the more challenging projects we've ever done and so nice to see it up and running i know all you fake rock guys love to get back to your jobs and actually see them moving and flowing and going so anyways thank you much for watching my videos if you want to learn how we do this we have free content and for sale how to stuff on this sort of thing so if you'd like you can just grab uh, pencil right down davehenderson.podia.com davehenderson.podia.com and that will get you to my website you can download the free stuff that would be cool and uh, just have fun with it man learn how to do something be creative also <laughs> have stuff triple w dave r henderson you can see some blogs there and other things that will help you learn about fake rocks and other things and uh Remember to be thankful and forgiving. Those two things, you get those attributes dialed in, you'll be a dialed in person. And you will be uh, a blessing and not a curse to those around you and yourself. And also know Jesus is coming back soon. It's getting crazy out there. Crazy stuff they talked about 2,000 years ago, manifesting in the present. But uh, get Jesus into your heart. He'll take you home, clean you up. Can't do it on your own. All right, guys, God bless you again. DaveHenderson.podia.com to get some free stuff. Learn how we do this. And I hope you have an awesome day. And thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe and um, follow my stuff. It would be awesome. Give me any questions you have, and I'll see if I can answer them. All right? All right. So have a good day, and God bless you guys. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.